Alright, about to take our first trip on the Montreal Metro here. I think we just... No. Um, yeah, we want to go on this one. And we just missed our train. So we're going from Square Victoria to Sherbrooke here. Gonna go check out the campus that I'm gonna be studying at. Very big. This is Very interesting around here. I will say, I do like the design of this station. It looks really nice. You can see the tracks with the 750 volts this uses. What if it uses traditional like third rail power or something like that? I wonder. One thing I will give about the MBTA system back home is that there are clear signs telling you when the next train is coming. Can't seem to find that here. But uh I wonder what's what this says on here. like four minutes till our next one so they do have they do have something to give you when the next train is coming but they don't have them plastered around the stations like back like they do back home but um it's nice i like the minimalism here although the one thing to note is that there aren't as many benches on this platform Uh, yeah. Do you like the architecture here? It's very nice. Seems like they have a similar yellow waiting line or yellow line here on the edge of the platform. It's pretty cool. And this is, in fact, the orange line we are taking. And from what I've read on lines so far, is that these trains do not use traditional rails, they use rubber wheels, instead of traditional like uh, rails and such. But it looks like they do have rails on the bottom here, probably to keep it on track and make sure it doesn't skid around or anything like that. Although I do wonder if it's quieter than traditional subway trains like in New York and Boston. Another thing I will note is that there does seem to be cell service down here. Similar to that of the Boston system, there's a... You do have cell service down in the stations. So you got something coming. types of trains here. As you can see, those are some those are some big rubber wheels they got there. Looks like our train is coming right now. that 
the doors slide on the outside of the body instead of inside. Something cool I will say about these cars is that they do have open gangways down the entire train it seems like. There aren't, these car trains aren't isolated by different cars. It seems like it's all one, which is interesting. And I do like the lights by the doors that indicate whether or not it's safe to, to exit or enter. Definitely something cool. The next stop, Champ de Mars. So it looks like that whenever we're close to entering a station, those, uh, those lights by the doors change to green, indicating that we're getting close. Which I think that's pretty cool. Plastic seats. very nice. I do like it. It's nice, bright, and vibrant interior with good Attention lighting. speed like this, it definitely seems like it's quieter with the rubber tires, which I will say is, is rather, it's nice. It's a nice ride where it's not really loud, and I like that. Station Station Sherbrooke. Looks like that's our next stop.
So that was my first impressions of the Montreal Metro. I will be pumping out more content related to the Montreal Metro, such as, like, maybe... I don't know if I'll get to it, but maybe a tier list video, as well as, um, just... I'm gonna be pumping out Railfan compilations, since that's what I will be doing with the majority of my time while I'm here. Um, but yeah, if you liked these this first impressions video, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, dislike it if you dislike it. If you want to tell me something, leave it in the comment section below. I will respond to you, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.